Hey everyone, and welcome to another live edition of my tea tasting. I've got an exciting one for you today. It's one I haven't uh, I haven't done an in-house blend in a little while, uh, so I figured this one is going to be a good time to uh, to get another one. Uh, we have another winner for the summer um, the, the the summer contest uh, that you know got you guys. Uh, they've done a um, they they do like the the in-store contests every every season and stuff uh so this one is actually really well they're all really good uh but this one i find particularly uh good for the season so i'm gonna go ahead and start my water real real quick uh this one it's gonna be a little interesting it's calypso cleanse um i just realized something by force of habit i set the um, I, I set the water too high, and I'll explain why it's it's a little strange, um, but it's really, really good. So, Calypso Cleanse, uh, Shanna, welcome! Uh, Calypso Cleanse is, uh, hey Ma, welcome! Uh, it's, it's an in-house blend, you'll only be able to, to find it uh, in, the, uh, in the Adagio State Street store. Um, now this has a couple of different teas in it as bases. Uh, it starts with Calypso Green, White Eternal Spring, Rooibos Orange, uh, Ginger, Rose Hips, and Annie Seed. Uh, now the reason why this is a little bit uh, different is because it's got three different teas as bases. Uh, you have one green, one white, and one herbal blend. So it's going to be a... I see you waving. Hi. <laughs> uh, it's going to be um, an interesting thing. I, at first, I wanted to do it at 212, which is normal for the uh, green... Amanda, welcome! Uh, Nicole, welcome! I just saw you pop in. Uh, it, it's, it's, it was going to be a little bit iffy. I, at first, I was going to do it at 212 degrees because of the rooibos. Uh, but then I said to myself, I said, wait a second. Since this has a green and a white tea, that's probably going to oversteep pretty easily. Uh, so I had to adjust my, uh, my temperature a little bit just to, you know, make, just to make up for it. So, this is going to be brewed as a, uh, as a, as a white and a green tea, uh, at 180 degrees. I had to think about it for a second, uh, for about three minutes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open up this bad boy. I have had a, uh, a sample of it iced, uh, but this is going to be the first time I have it uh, hot. And I have to say, I was really impressed uh, with it iced. It's very um, citrusy, very, very juicy, I want to say. And I, I don't uh, say that about tea very often, um, because water, you know, even with the uh, most citrusy ones, uh, you still get a tinge... Oh. You still get the taste of, uh, of water. This one, you didn't really get it while it was iced. So, um, ooh, and it's a nice looking tea too. I'll show you guys in a second. But first, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take my whiff and let you know. Oh, I, I can smell it already. Oh, ooh, this is good. Ah, it's very orangey, uh, very, very refreshing. It's like orange with a hint of effervescence. Like... It's got a little clean. Oh, that was fast. My hmm. I'm not sure. I think my power might have gone out. It doesn't. Oh wait, no. It is okay. Never mind. Shalin, welcome, Shalin. Oops. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure I botched that up, but that's okay. Uh, all right. So it's. Uh, I think I popped a little bit sooner than I expected, so I wasn't quite ready. Um, I'll go ahead and leave the the water there for just a moment while I pour some of this out. Now this is a very chunky tea. I did not expect this to be as as visual as it is. I'll show you guys in just a second, but it's a very nice looking tea. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna move a little bit over here. So it's got like a lot of chunks. You can see this right here is uh, it's a fruit. I'm assuming it's either one of the um, gosh. This is what it's like. I, I'm assuming that it's like a pineapple 
I'll look at it in a second because, um, well, I'll, I'll describe it uh, in just a second. But you see, there's like a lot of berries in here. You have what looks like a blueberry here, pineapple, got rose petals. And I'll even show you guys. It's it's a pretty good it's a pretty good height. I'm going to compare it later uh, to how big it gets. But yeah, this is gonna be. It's going to be a very flavorful tea. So I'm going to go ahead and pour out my water. And make sure... Yeah, it is... Okay, it is steaming a little bit. I wanted to make sure that it was hot. Because, I mean, I'm still kind of convinced that... Um, that I didn't give it enough time. Uh, and I think I put a little too much water in it. Because it's starting to overflow from the spout. And that is not something that uh, I'd want to have looming over me as I taste it. So I'm going to go ahead and dry out the spout just a little bit. Just to make sure that it, I don't have any accidents when I'm, trying, when I'm trying to pour. There we go. Okay, now. What, oh, I almost forgot to set Quackhead. So this is going to be at three minutes. I'm sure it's going to be closer to 3 minutes, 30 seconds, uh, because I was cleaning up a little bit. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and read the, uh, the ingredients, starting with White Eternal Spring. Uh, let's see. So the White Eternal Spring has... Uh, there we go. It's got white tea, rose hips, uh, pineapple, like I was saying, mango, uh, cranberries, rose petals... Apple pieces, hibiscus, blueberries, uh, natural mango and pineapple flavor. Then the Calypso Green. It's going to have green tea. Uh, like I was saying before, it's a green and a white. Uh, you get orange peels, dried coconut, marigold flowers, uh, passion fruit flavor, peach flavor, coconut flavor, orange flavor and mango pieces and then for the third one rooibos orange uh let's go down there we go greg what's up oh and quackhead is going off and i just realized i forgot to pull out my little cup there we go see i'm doing a lot of moving back and forth here <laughs> I knew I was, I was forgetting something. There we go. Alright, I'm going to let that sit in the cup and dry out for a little while. And I'll, I'll show you what the, what the tea looks like uh, in just a moment. I'm going to finish off the, um, the, uh, the ingredients. Uh, you got rooibos tea, green... Uh, bleh, rooibos tea... Orange peels and natural orange flavor. So that's the that's all that's in the um, the orange rooibos tea, uh, which rooibos teas uh, unless you uh, unless you add a lot to it, it really doesn't need a whole lot because it's very flavorful and very sweet naturally. Uh, so I don't expect much of uh, much um, what's the word? much ingredients and added uh, and additives to it. So this is all good. Now, I'm going back and forth. It's a lot of, yeah, a lot of movement. <laughs> More than I expected. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm trying to dry this thing off. So that it doesn't dribble on my floor. But I always, I always wind up dribbling something. Are you gonna, are you good? You good? Okay. No, you're not good. <laughs> this thing is trying to trick me. Like, it's fine, it's not dripping and nothing, and then once I move it a little bit, a little bit drops down. Okay, so I think I'm safe. Alright, there we go. Now you can see there's been a lot of, of, uh, of growth. Uh, it looks like actually two and a half times as much. It was a little bit down here, and it grew. So you can see it's almost to the top. Probably see my finger better here. So yeah, there has been a lot of growth, a lot of, uh, of coloration too. I'll show you real quick. You can see the, the, 
the pineapple has gotten a little bit bright white. Um, and I, it doesn't show very well on this camera color wise, uh, but there's more yellow in it than what it was before. So everything else looks still earthy, looks very. Um, oh, I'm. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. It's already dripping. It's very earthy. You see the rose hips. Uh, every, I mean the rose petals, sorry. And the the leaves, they haven't really changed much color. The biggest change you've seen is the fruit, the um, the pineapple. And I'm trying to find where that blueberry was. It might have sunk to the bottom a little bit. It's around there, I'm sure. Whatever, I'm not going to spend the rest of the... Uh, the rest of the stream trying to find it but you guys you saw it at the beginning so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this down oh this is not good like the tea is sticking to my finger oh uh, okay yeah it's a good thing I have my my little rag all right there we go so I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of this out and I'm like super excited to taste it hot because it was really super delicious when it was cold Oh, pouring it out, and it's got a nice orange, kind of, uh, like an orange-yellow kind of tinge to it. Uh, I can't tell if you really see it uh, on, the, on the camera, but once it gathers in the cup, you'll see that there's a huge color change. Uh, it's, it's, look at that. It's a very orangey uh an orangey like copper br bronze well i i guess bronze might be a little bit too dark to describe it but it's yeah it's a very orangey coppery uh coppery look to it and the smell is really really strong like it it smells it smells really um it smells really tropical Oh, 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 that just, oh, that just wafted right up my nose. Mmm. So I'm going to go ahead and take my first sip because I am super excited about this. And it's, once again, I have not sweetened it. I'm going to drink this au naturel. Uh, I'm cutting down on the sweets just for the, uh, just for the, for the live streams. Oh, that is really nice. This does not need any sweetening at all. It's got a very citrusy, very juicy flavor to it. Mmm. Yeah, that is really... That's satisfying. Like, I, I have had it uh, before where, where it was iced, and I'm kind of tempted... Uh, right now I have some, some uh, dragon fruit tea uh, iced in my fridge. Uh, when that's out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ice some of this. And oh my god, like it's, it's, I, I, I don't even know <laughs> where to begin. It's got like a super orangey flavor to it. Um, kind of juicy. But you also taste like the little, a little hint of the ginger. There's not a whole lot, but it's there. Like there's... A little bit of a of a of a burn to it. Uh, the ginger really gives it a nice little kick, uh, but it's not overly um, it's not overly heated like uh, like a chai. Um, that's something that you'd want to avoid in the summer. This is like the perfect summer flavor. It's orangey. It's uh, it's more tropical than than heated. So I'm really I'm really loving this. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, have another sip. Mmm, my God, oh, that's so good. This is the kind of it, it, it's it's gonna be caffeinated. Uh, the green tea and the white tea are both uh, caffeinated leaves, um, but it's not like it's it's not as super duper caffeinated. Uh, white tea is among the most uh, caffeinated teas uh, that's out there because. Um, I've mentioned this before in a previous uh, in a previous stream that when you pick the white tea, it's white because it's still young, 
and uh, it still has a lot of uh, caffeine because caffeine is a it's a natural insecticide. So uh, it it produces enough of it to uh, protect itself early on in its uh, in its leaf life. <laughs> I like that leaf life, um, and it's like it it allows it to grow. So plants tend uh, not plants uh, bugs tend to tend to avoid it. So. Um, when it comes out, it's highly caffeinated, and it's it's delicious. Um, but it's not going to be to the point, since we're working with uh, three different teas, uh, and only two of them are caffeinated, it's not going to be like a... It, it's basically like a, uh, I want to say, kind of like a staircase going down. You have the white tea, then the green tea, and then the rooibos has no caffeine at all. Uh, so we're dealing with maybe about third to maybe a quarter of uh, caffeine content that you would normally have if it was uh, completely white or completely green. So uh, I'm not expecting much of uh, much of an energy boost. Uh, I would say that this tea is really good for like the afternoon into the evening. Um, if you are affected by caffeine, don't wait too long, but it should be fine. Um, because this tea, just in general, is not as caffeinated as coffee. Uh, and you're just getting maybe about a third to a quarter of that. Okay, and also, there was uh, something that was kind of brought to my attention. Thank you, Amanda, for uh, <laughs> letting me know. The, uh, the term Calypso Cleanse did uh, kind of have a connotation to it where uh, you would have to be running back and forth to the bathroom. Um, there's nothing in there that I could see offhand that would have that kind of effect, but, um, I'm assuming that maybe it's the ginger part, since ginger does have, uh, cleansing, cleansing elements to it, uh, that might be what the, um, what the, the, the name of the flavor, uh, hints towards, I want to say. Uh, but yeah, this one, this one's... It, it, the taste is, is out of this world. Uh, it was made by Artemis. She's uh, one of the... I appreciate that. <laughs> Believe me, if you weren't looking out for me, I would have that, uh, that alarm <laughs> go off uh, at the worst possible time. So I appreciate the heads up. Uh, yeah, and all the... F that's true. All the fruit has uh, cleansing properties, all the citrus acids. Um... Yeah, so there there is a cleansing element to it. I just don't think it's going to be the uh, emergency evacuation kind of cleanse. At least I'm hoping not because, you know, I would like to get some sleep tonight. <laughs> but so far, so good. Um, I'm, I'm doing all right. And uh, I will, if anything happens, I will update you guys next week. Uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I will update you guys next week. And let you know my experiences. But I'm not... I don't think that it's, it's going to be anything bad. Mm. So there is... It's interesting. Like, I'm loving the citrus flavor, but it's not... It's not all one fruit. Like, of course, I like I read it off before. Uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I will be scant on the details if there are any to share. But <laughs> I, I'm not going to go into full-on play-by-play uh, -play action as to what exactly happened tonight. But just rest assured, I will let you know if there is anything that, uh, that I experienced uh, out of the ordinary. Um, but anyway, yeah, so it's not just one flavor like you guys heard I said. Uh, it's got mango, it's got coconut, it's got uh, peach... Uh, no, no, not peach, pineapple. Um, and it's got different uh, different flavors in there. All the citrus in here is well blended. So nothing is overpowering. You can taste the mango, you can taste the, um, the pineapple. It's all, it's all very distinct. Uh, and that's something that is... Uh, it's unique... When you, uh, Vanessa, welcome! Uh, it's, it's unique when you can distinctively taste every, uh, oh, uh, 
believe me, I, I will let you guys know. Um, well, since this is an in-store brand only, uh, I mean, sorry, an in-store blend only, uh, there's probably very few of you who are going to get the chance to drink it. Uh, but those of you who do, I'll let you know if there are any adverse effects. Um, I don't think so, but you never know. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, that you could taste uh, all the fruits uh, distinctly. The, the coconut is a, a, a natural sweetener, uh, but you don't taste that specifically. It's you, you taste the um, you taste the effect of the sweetness, if that makes any sense. Like you, you could taste that it is a little bit sweeter than it should be, uh, but the the coconut is not distinct. Uh, what is it? One of the ingredients is in the tea is marigold. Marigold is used to heal wounds and help reduce swe swelling. Uh, and it's used to speed up healing. Ah, that that's something I did not know. So I guess, like, in a way, not only is it cleansing, it's also got uh, healing factors. Um, that, that comes in very handy. Because, um, you know, for something like that, if you're going through any, like, a cold where you're... you're I don't want to cover my face. But where your nose is uh, inflamed... Um, that's probably going to do some, some, uh, some good for you. Uh, you did not miss anything except, uh, except the possibility that this might clean me out and I might be running to the bathroom after this stream is over, but you guys will not know until next week. So, so far, no, you didn't miss anything, uh, too important. Uh, you did miss me being slightly unprepared, uh, because I forgot my cup. So if that matters for you and you're, uh, you're keeping count, that's one. Anyway. Mm. Now, I am kind of sort of cheating a little bit. Um, the, I have had it iced, so I already know what it's going to taste like uh, as it cools down. Uh, but I can already, that, I, that gives me an advantage, um, where I can definitely say it's really good iced. Um, I mentioned before that I'm going to make a, um, oh, you're at Starbucks now? How dare you drink coffee in the middle of my tea stream? <laughs> Mike, welcome, my name twin. <laughs> First time that he's actually here, so you see that there's an actual other Mike Cuevas in the world. And yeah, I'm I'm thrilled about that. I'm not the only one. But anyway, yeah. So <laughs> my mortal enemy is uh, you have a deadline. Uh, I oh you're you're oh wait yeah you said you did mention that yeah and I have had uh, I have had Starbucks before and I I I have had coffee before even though it was by accident. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, I tried to, to drink a, uh, to order a tea like a total noob, and I wound up ordering some sort of coffee. I forget what it was, but I was like, yeah, I'm going to drink my words now. And it wasn't bad. Uh, it wasn't bad. I don't have anything against coffee per se. I just prefer tea because it doesn't have that bitter aftertaste. Um, but I'm, I'm okay, and I can, I can drink. Uh, mocha nut mate, which is highly coffee flavored, um, without the without the uh, the aftertaste. So that's something that I can prefer. But when it comes to like straight up coffee, oh, I'm fighting the hiccups. When it comes to straight up coffee, I'm not uh, I'm not a fan. And I forgot everything that I was talking about uh, before I got the uh, before I got distracted. But what else is new, right? Mm. Oh, that's so good. There's like a kind of I don't know if if this makes if this is going to make sense, but as you drink it, you get like a fragrance from it. And it's really really profound. Um when I was talking before about the uh, the effervescence and like the refreshing quality uh that it has, as it cools down, it's uh, that is kind of getting more um, more prevalent. Uh, I don't specifically remember pointing that out when uh, when I had it iced, 
Uh, that might just be because after something is cold to a certain point, uh, it either loses that effervescence because it feels like it's just uh, a mouthfeel of temperature, um, or it's intensified because if you drink something like uh, mint tea but it's iced, you get that multiplication of the cold on top of the strong effervescence of the mint, and you have like a multiplied effect. So in this case, um, it's a, it's a, it's, you can taste the effervescence, but the, the, I, I get the feeling that I'm going to lose that, uh, if it gets too cold, which is fine. I mean, when, when it's, when it's hot, uh, that's the, that's the interesting thing about tea. Uh, there's different flavors as the temperature cools. Uh, I don't know if you really get that from coffee. Um, I know that, uh, like, if you drink lukewarm coffee, it's completely gross. But if you ice it down, people love it. So it's probably, like, that kind of platform uh, where you have hot... Well, with coffee, anyway. You get hot is, like, high quality. Um, low quality uh, when it's room temperature. And then back up to high quality when it's iced. Uh, but in this case, you have... High quality, high quality, high quality. Like, it's just a different kind of... Um, it's just a different kind of flavor as it progresses. And it, depending on the tea, it's it's either a really good thing or a really bad thing. Because there's some teas out there that just taste awful when it's cold. And, you know, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but this tea... It it uh, it transformed. Well, I, I guess it, it, I'll take your word for it. It might depend on the coffee. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure that there are are different uh, blends and different flavors that uh, that maintain that quality. I'm not the expert, uh, so I'll I'll take your word for it. Uh, but I, just generally, as I understand, it goes up, down, and up. Um, uh, but. Yeah, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, that uh, tea uh, sometimes maintains that high quality throughout the different uh, phases of its temperature. Um, and when you get to some teas like, say, um, Ceylon, which has a very, very strong uh, black tea flavor, when it gets cold, well, when it gets uh, lukewarm, I should say, uh, you get that really strong... Um, the, the black flavor goes directly to the back of your throat and it can get a little bit daunting um, and from that point on uh, it's a crapshoot as to whether or not you actually like it cold um, I personally depends on who makes it uh, I could go for, for, for Ceylon when it's cold um, I, I just have not made it myself to the point where I like it iced. Um, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm, I'm oversteeping it. I don't know. Uh, but I have tried it, and it's not my favorite. I have had, though, on, uh, on the other hand, I have had Ceylon that was really well-made and, and cold. Um, at Adagio, they, they had that as a, as a mystery tea. And um, I, I guessed it right. Uh, <laughs> I have witnesses uh, that'll tell you I guessed Ceylon right. Um, but I found it interesting that it wasn't as bad uh, as when I make it. So I think maybe it's just my mistake. You never know. Um, yeah, I, I do make mistakes on occasion. You know, it's, it's a rare thing. <laughs> I think once every three or four months I'll make a mistake. Uh, but... <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, I, I lost my, oh yeah, that, uh, the Ceylon that I have made, whenever I've iced, I had to make it super sweet, uh, to make up for my, uh, my mistake. Hey Ma, welcome back! I'm glad you weren't gone for too long, cause that would be, uh, maybe in the tea world, yeah, maybe in the tea world. It's, it's, it's hard for me to make a mistake in the tea world because that just it hurts it hurts me physically
But whenever you make a mistake, you gotta learn from it. Mmm. This is... This is interesting. I don't know if you guys can relate, but... I just had a taste experience, like, from the roof of my mouth. Like, the flavor has has gone up into the roof of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, you'll know next week if it hurts for sure. I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, but the, the taste has gone, like, from the roof of my mouth up into the back of my throat. And, like, it's it's interesting. Like, I've never noticed that before. Where you take a sip and it goes almost directly into the brain. Like, uh, that was interesting. I don't know. Maybe it's my imagination and I was just getting a little uh, too excited. But that that was like a really, a really interesting feeling. I think my brain just got cleansed too. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is the kind of tea that I think I want to—I I, want to savor for a little bit. Like, I well, I, I'll give a perfect example. Uh, last week, um, yeah, it does need it. <laughs> uh, last week, I went to a um, a cheese tasting class. And he said that, you know, in order to really taste cheese, you have to leave it in your mouth and really think about it. Like, the difference between a cheesemonger and uh, a regular cheese uh, cheese fan, I guess, uh, would be that a cheesemonger will put it in their mouth and taste it for a couple minutes, you know, just to see what they, um, what they, what they get out of it. Um, now I do do that on occasion, um, where I keep it in my mouth and I think about it and I try to gather all the information that I can. Um, and this one, I mean, you know, I'm not going to do it while I'm talking to you guys because, you know, either that'll be, uh, really, you'll, it'll be really boring or really messy. So I'll sit there. <laughs> oh, there goes all my tea, but I'm going to explain what I got from that. Yeah, that that's not going to be... Well, actually, it might be good television for you guys. You guys would love to see me dribble all over myself, but you know, i got to maintain some sort of decorum. Because this is the internet, and nothing gets, uh, nothing gets deleted forever. Mm. Oh, that's really good. I'm thinking... I'm thinking maybe I could add a little bit of mint to it. A little bit of mint will do wonders for this. It would bring out the uh, effervescence more, and you know it's, it'll 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 completely change the experience. That that's something that I might just do. Not not now, probably not with this pouch, but I'm definitely going to uh, going to drink this one again. And I'm definitely going to have it experimented on. But yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go with that for now. But I'm going to go ahead and, because uh, I'm almost done with this one, pour out the rest of it. Ooh, oh, almost, oh, don't fall. Mir <coughs> Miriam, welcome. <coughs> oh, you made me choke. Um. <coughs> Miriam, welcome. Thank you for not killing me, just starting the process. Uh, <laughs> oh, it went down the wrong pipe. Um, yes, you made it. I'm glad you're here. Uh, I needed to uh, drink a little bit to clear my throat, because woo. That went down the wrong pipe badly. And I think that it's ironic that you choke on something while you're drinking it, and the only way to finish the job is to drink some more. Uh, <laughs> that is that is what she said. <clears throat> Oof. Uh, anyway, um, so just to catch you up, 
I'm doing Calypso Cleanse, and it's a very, very good, uh, very, very good tea. I think you might have had the, um, the, uh, the, the, the sample of it. Um, but it's got Calypso Green, uh, white eternal spring, rooibos orange, ginger, rose hips, and aniseed. So, it's a very, very, oh, excuse me. It's a very, very full flavor. I'm loving it. Oh. Whew. I, you know, I think I need to turn my fan on a little bit. Well, I mean, it's already on, but towards me, I should say. Because I am getting a little bit spicy over here. <laughs> ah, perfect. There we go. I'm gonna position myself in front of it so you guys can see the beads of sweat going right around here. Oh, I am like super hot right now. And not just my looks. Haha. -ha. Anyway. <laughs> and of course, this is a stream where they're all women going, ah. But that's okay. I would say gag me with a spoon, but that's so like early 90s. So somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure you guys remember that saying. <laughs> I've never, I've never said it seriously. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go way back <laughs> and say it this time. <coughs> Still choking a little bit. <clears throat> anyway, okay. Questions, comments. Uh, anything that you want to you want to ask me uh, talk about um, pairing I'm I know Teresa if you were here you would want to know what this pairs what I am old school I'm I'm not old school I'm just an old man that is like uh, that's the, <laughs> that's that's even worse um, oh yeah so if, if Teresa were here she would like to know <laughs> what this would go with um, dessert wise this is a very citrusy uh, tea so it can go with a lot of different desserts um, ice cream orange sherbet uh, orange creamsicle the the orange pops I, I'm going on an ice cream theme here because uh, I'm still super hot so I'm also trying to cool myself down uh, <laughs> uh, let's see um, Vanilla cookies. Vanilla and orange always go well together, I think. Um, what else? Uh, hmm. Maybe a pound cake. I think like a little buttery pound cake would, would go well with this. Uh, with the orange. Chocolate. Chocolate and orange always go well together. Um... I think that even if I was to put, mm, I got some actual tea in my mouth. <clears throat> uh, if I were to like freeze some of this, this would make this on its own uh, a really nice dessert. Uh, ginger snaps, yes, ginger snaps, a nice. Uh, it, it would go well because I mean this already has ginger in it, uh, so it would complement that well. Um, but yeah, this is, I think it would, uh, like a chocolate bar or, or pudding. I'm thinking I would like to have some, some pudding with this. Because it's got that nice, uh, that, that nice texture to it. Uh, the lemon coconut cake from Junior's, absolutely. Because that, that, that lemon, that, that lemon would, would go well with the pineapple and the, and the mango. Uh, and there's already coconut in it. So yeah, this is it's it's we're we're getting that flow, <laughs> that that brainstorm, um, but yeah, I also I also kind of changing well not changing the subject but um, going back to the cheese tasting, uh, the the guy who's who is uh, who's lemon cookies yes that right on spot or spot on, whatever I'm getting my uh, <laughs> I'm getting my sayings mixed up, anyway uh, he said something very interesting. Uh, normally, it's it would be really hard to talk about pairing and talk about uh, what it would go with because taste is very subjective. So you can't really say for certain 
what this stuff would go well with. Uh, you can only recommend. Uh, but in the end, you eat what you like, you know? I mean, everybody uh, enjoys something different. <clears throat> and, you know, every time I talk about that, uh, I take that for granted. Because although I like these desserts, uh, and I believe that they would pair well, they may not pair very well with you guys, uh, which is perfectly fine. Um, and the, the way that the class was, was taught, um, it wasn't what I thought it would be. Like, they wouldn't say, okay, now taste this cheese with this wine, and you'll get, you'll notice there is this kind of flavor to it, blah, 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 blah. It was very much like, you eat at your own pace, you drink at your own pace, I'll talk about cheese. And the way that, 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 that kind of approach to it really opened up my eyes because I figured, you know, I'm recommending these, um, I'm recommending these pairings, I'm recommending, uh, what it should go with, what it could go with, um, but in the end, I mean, that's just my recommendations. You guys, I implore you, go out, get some tea, drink, eat, be merry, explore for yourself, see what you like, and keep doing it. Um, and I think ultimately that's that's the goal that I want uh, after after all of these streams. Um, because you guys have seen my face, you've seen how uh, I've enjoyed teas, uh, you've seen how there were things where I didn't quite like, but, um, you know, I mean, it's all part of the process, it's all part of uh, experimenting, learning, uh, and seeing what it is to get, like, a, uh, a new perspective. Um, so, in that spirit, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to do something uh, that I never thought I would. One of these days, I don't know when, uh, but I'm going to stream in Earl Grey. Uh, you guys, I have made quite... I've made it quite known how I feel about Earl Grey, and... Uh, I'm going to do it for you guys. I'm going to do it <laughs> for, for you, because <clears throat> Earl Grey is something that I'm not going to say I hate, uh, because I've grown to tolerate it, but by the same token, um, I don't quite love it. Uh, there was one that I, that I enjoyed, um, and it was kind of like cheating, uh, because it was one that, uh, oh, what was it in that place? Um, no, no, I don't, I don't hate it, I just severely dislike it uh, dislike it dislike it uh but Shanna, what was the name of the uh, the the store um the tea shop tilula tilula uh we went to tilula and i had a um uh an earl gray with mixed with lapsang lapsang sao chong and you guys know by now Lapsang Sao Chong is that really strong uh, smoky flavor that I highly recommend. I highly love it. Um, it's, it's amazing. It's so good, it actually made me enjoy Earl Grey. And I have to say I was highly impressed by that. Um, but that being said, I'm not going to stream that one <laughs> for, this, uh, for this experiment. Um, I'm going to stream an actual Earl Grey, um, probably one that I've had already. Uh, Adagio has uh, three Earl Grey blends. I don't re think I've ever had just the the flat out Earl Grey. Um, I know that they have it in Naperville. I don't know if they have it at um, at State Street. We'll see. Um, I'll, I'll, next time I'm there, I'll ask for a sample package of Earl Grey. Uh, I don't think I'd want to buy a full, um, just because I already know that I'm not a fan. But I'll see if I can get, like, a sample, uh, a sample size and see what we can do with that. If not, I'll, I don't mind. I'll buy the, um, I'll buy the bag. Uh, 
but if I don't have to, to waste my money, uh, I'm not going to. <clears throat> I'll see if they have uh, just a sample of the plain Earl Grey. We'll see. They love me there. I'm sure they can they can spare it. Mm. Oh, oh man, this is really good. I, <laughs> yes, I could afterwards. I'll drink one. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll drink one one pot, and I'll say, "Here, you can take it. You you'll take it off my hands too. Like you uh, you like Earl Grey? Hey, if you do, by all means. I don't like I said I don't hate it. Hate it because there are flavors that not flavors of tea, but there are flavors certain flavors that I won't I won't touch. And you know, you guys, you know, I'm I'm very uh, very. I like my food. I'm a foodie, uh, <laughs> but there's some things that I just won't. I won't do. Um, but yeah, Earl Grey is something that I can tolerate, uh, and I want you guys to see because I mean I love pretty much every tea that um, that I have made uh, for you guys. But I don't want to be so one-sided, you know. Um, and I'll be honest, like, if I don't like it, if I, you'll see it in my face where it's just, drink, bah! Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm probably going to do that, um, but, you know, I mean, what can I say? It's, it's, it's good to, um, it's good to, um, to expand your horizons, even if it's a negative experience. Uh, with vanilla and coconut milk, uh, it's, it's relaxing, that, I, I mean, I'll have to, I'll, I'll have to take your word for it. Um, I've never had, I, I have had it with cream, and cream does help. Um, I have not had it with coconut, uh, but the thing also is, um, relaxing, I would say in the flavor form, you're right. Uh, but it is also very caffeinated. So... You're going to have like a more of an awareness, an awakening kind of uh, kind of experience with the Earl Grey, uh, but you're not going to have that. I'm going to drink it and then take a nap experience if you're um, if you're sensitive to caffeine. So yeah, it's it's I I would say that it's a good um, I would say that it's a it's a good description to say that it's relaxing flavor wise. But hey, if it relaxes you, by all means, I'll cheers, you know. Mm. Mm. Oh, you you drink coffee and take naps. Okay, so yeah, it's probably the uh, caffeine doesn't have uh, as strong uh, uh, of an effect. I mean, I'm the same way. I I do this every week. <laughs> well, not every week, but I I drink a whole pot. Of uh, of tea, caffeinated or not, and I, I have no problems sleeping, uh, so I get that from Ma. Uh, we we have a caffeine tolerance. Um, I'm sure she drank a lot of caffeine when she was pregnant with me because it never really had uh, that kind of effects on me. Um, I would have to have a lot of caffeine um, in order to get me get me all riled up. Um, and some days, like, I have been known to, uh, go a little nuts with the caffeine. Um, when I first started drinking tea on a regular basis, one of the most annoying effects that I hated was my eye kept twitching. It was always like, ee, ee, ee. I hated it. And I thought that there was something wrong with me. I was like, what is going on? And then I started talking about it to, uh to the, the guys at Adagio. And they're like, no, yeah, no, it's it's natural. When you have more caffeine intake, it's bound to show up in some way, shape, or form. And the eye, the eye twitch thing going here, and it was always this eye. Like, the other one was fine. It was always this one. Um, and they were like, yeah, it's, it's it, you're going to have some effects. If it's not the eye, it's going to be, like, the leg movement or the hand movement. Uh, it's going to be, like, a heart rate... Um, yeah, 
there is. So, uh, so when I say that I'm, I have a high tolerance for caffeine. That's not to say that I'm immune to it. Uh, I just have a high tolerance for it. Mm. Oof. Oh, so that being said, uh, this tea uh, is going to be mildly, I, I would say mild to moderate caffeine. Um, and I, I think that it's got a nice, a nice mellow taste to it. So it balances out uh, your physical and emotional, um, your physical and emotional uh, wellness. I want to say uh, physical and emotional states. Yeah, I think I, I think states is a better description, um, because you don't get too overly. I mean, the taste is good enough. You know, I I, I think I'm gonna go with what I was saying before about uh, Earl Grey and Miriam's uh, explanation for it being relaxing. Um, although it is caffeinated, um, Earl Grey is more caffeinated, of course. Uh, but this one has that. <clears throat> It has like a calming effect. The the tropical fruits that 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 you're drinking gives you. It, it takes you to like a tropical beach. Like this is a very distinct taste, and I I really love it. I have another. Oh, okay. So I have about five more sips of this. I'm just gauging. <clears throat> so I'm not quite done yet, but I will be, uh, I am coming to the end. So if you guys have any questions, uh, any comments, anything that you want to uh, bring up, I'm opening up the floor for discussion. Uh, this is one of my favorite times where you guys uh, give me your, your, uh, your personal thoughts, uh, your questions, um, and that, that, really, that really keeps me on my toes. I really enjoy it, so I always encourage you guys. Throw it at me. Whatever you got. Uh, I'll do my best to... Ooh, I'm getting a little too comfortable there. Like, <laughs> I'm already halfway through the floor. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> I always encourage you guys. Go ahead and, and uh, talk to me. Uh, what does it cleanse? That is a good question. I'm not sure. Uh, we were talking about that earlier. <laughs> where um, there is this connotation where... You'll drink it, and you think it's going to be like a colon cleanse. Um, it's probably more like a, um, a toxicity cleanse, uh, where you're eating the fruits. Uh, you're, well, in this case, drinking the fruits. Uh, and it's going through the, um, the ginger has cleansing properties. Um, so you're getting a good uh, mm -hmm. inside kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like uh, a workover. I guess is the best uh, the best description. Um, so I will find out soon enough <laughs> if it is a colon cleanser. Um, if it is, I will let you guys know gently uh, <laughs> what kind of uh, effect it had on me. Um, because like I said before, I've only had like little cups that big, maybe two or three of them. It's not going to have much of an effect. But tonight I'm having an entire pot. And that, if it, exactly, dun dun dun, you're gonna see me go, <laughs> I'm gonna do that whole cartoon, pew, thing going. Oh, and you're gonna see the, the, the phone go, wee 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 wee, in midair before it falls down. Uh, which is gonna be very interesting from your end, because you're gonna see it from the phone's perspective. And <laughs> you guys are gonna be like, why is the camera spinning so much? But yeah. That would be, that would be very interesting. Um, the poop emojis are yes, they absolutely are uh, uh, appropriate for this particular particular moment. But it's a pending poop because right now my stomach is fine. Um, I I don't even have to pee after after these streams. I usually have uh, I have like two or three trips to the bathroom uh, to to cleanse. <laughs> <laughs> to cleanse, but uh, I don't feel like any adverse effects. Um, I don't believe there will be any adverse effects because, like I said before, there's nothing in there um, that would generally make you run to the bathroom. 
unless you have like an excessive amount. Um, green tea is famous for, for cleansing. Uh, when you drink matcha, do not drink more than than two in a day. Because <laughs> I learned that the hard way. I had two uh, cups of, uh, of matcha and a cup of green tea. And that did not go well for the next day and a half. Uh, <laughs> that was... And, and those were work days, too. So, yeah, I, 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 I have learned my lesson. <laughs> I'm never making that mistake again. Um, I have... <clears throat> excuse me. I have had uh, it over... Does it taste healthy? I'll, I'll get to that in, in, in a moment. Um, I have had uh, at the tea tastings... Every single one I've done at Adagio, they do uh, a matcha demonstration. And that I always keep in mind when I'm drinking the teas. Um, not to go overboard on like any particular one because that will have an effect um, afterwards. Where, okay, yes, I have had the matcha. And then there's probably going to be one green tea, one white tea. Uh, but then... Adagio lets you taste anything and everything afterwards. Uh, and whew, you have to be aware of what you're drinking. Because afterwards you get like... You can you, you, you could be stuck in a bad situation. Um, when you had that matcha and like... Five or six green teas on top of that. Yeah, no, no. That's, that's not a very good... Uh, you'll be lucky to get home in one piece. Uh, but going back, does it taste healthy? Um, I would say, subjectively, yes. It tastes healthy. Uh, it tastes very fruity, very, um, <clears throat> it's, it's very natural. I'm gonna go, in, instead of saying healthy, I'm gonna say it tastes very natural. Because it tastes like juice, um, it tastes like uh, the effervescence of the um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the effervescence of the effervescence of the ginger. You get like that that whole that whole uh, like you know you're doing something good for your body. So yeah, I would say subjectively it does taste healthy, um, but it doesn't taste like soda. You know where it's super sugary, uh, super sweet. Um, it doesn't taste watery at all, uh, it, it's like that distinct flavor that, the flavor and the mouthfeel, I'll have to say, uh, of soda is completely opposite. So it tastes healthy, it tastes refreshing, uh, and it tastes very, it, it tastes natural. Which, I mean, it's all, it is all natural, it is, uh, organic, uh, so, in that sense, yeah, it's, it, it does taste healthy. Mm. I have about I could probably chug all of this right now if I wanted to uh, but I'm not going to um, not yet anyway but uh, hey Rachel welcome I saw the like uh, it had your face on there for a second so thanks for the like <laughs> even though you haven't popped up on my screen I know you're out there supporting hmm but yeah, I'm nearing the uh, the end of the stream. Uh, I'm I'm running a little low, so this is last call. You guys have any questions, comments, uh, anything you want to uh, anything you want to bring up? Now's the time, or forever hold your peace. Uh, I hope you guys are never that peaceful, because I love it when you guys participate. It's it's honestly it's what keeps me going. Mm. Mm, I'm trying to savor it without swallowing too fast, because uh, now that it's now that it's cooler, it's 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 even more refreshing than when it was hot. Uh, like I'm I'm feeling a really it, it's it, it's a feeling that you get in your heart and in your chest that. I think that I'm getting like a, 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 an emotional bond to this tea, if that makes sense. Uh, what was it? Unrelated, you can't 
hear Lollapalooza on the bus while listening to you talk on the about tea. Oh, okay, yeah, that uh, I think I think that that's a good thing. I know your feelings about Lala, and uh, <laughs> I'm glad that I can make you uh, distracted for a bit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I I'm glad to help you out there. Uh, yeah, this this weekend, you guys, is Lollapalooza, so downtown is going to be a madhouse. Um, but it is what it is. I'm probably... I'm, I'm definitely going to be uh, there on Sunday, not at Lala, but um, I'm going to be close by because um, I'm going to be volunteering at WakandaCon. Uh, that's the... Uh, the <laughs> no problem. Uh, that's the convention... <laughs> that was made for, like, the Black Panther. And, um... You know, it's supporting black artists and, and um... Like, sci-fi writers and, and, you know, everybody who loves fantasy and, you know, they, they, they love Black Panther. And, I mean, that is one of the most amazing movies I have seen in a really long time. Uh, so I'm glad to be volunteering. I'm glad to be helping out. Um, and I'm doing it specifically for the jokes... Where I could walk in there and be like, what kind of con is this? Is it sci-fi? Is it fantasy? What kind of con is this? Yeah, I'm going to get kicked out right away, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> mm. Mm. A little bit of tea right there. Anyway, so that's it. I just finished it off. Uh, I'm going to be calling it a night. I don't have um, any any announcements to make um uh well kind of sort of do okay well i'm going to be I've, I've been working on a few um a few tea recipes so i'll be talking more about that later um but i'm just putting it out there uh <laughs> they better throw me out for those yeah i'm totally gonna get thrown out i'll be like what kind of condor is this no, that's, that one didn't work as well. It sounded better in my head. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to be keeping you updated on my new flavors. Uh, once I get the labels out, I'm going to put them together, and I'll let you guys know. Uh, in the meantime, have an amazing weekend. I will see you all next week, um, and I will, I will have a new tea for you. I don't know which tea it is, uh, but I'll figure it out during the week. All right? Have a good night.